It's Easter Sunday, and despite the weird sounds coming from the 3D printer, I'm gonna get out of here and gonna meet up with a few people. We're gonna take a stroll around downtown on the East Bank. They use manual wheelchairs. I unfortunately cannot use one in the type of exercise they're doing, so I'm gonna take the power chair down there, meet up with them, and we're gonna go running around, see what kind of trouble we can get into. Better stick this transfer good last year on camera. Hey, what time is it? 12.30. 12 oh, okay. All, all, my, all my clocks broke. I was just making sure. <laughs> so yeah, best graffiti ever. Making ice cream cones. So which lane do you think? This doesn't really matter. We're a gang, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till the first courteous cyclist tries to pass. <laughs> Try being a key word. Exactly. We need a picture of this, Dan. Do you want to be in front? <laughs> How about video evidence? Yeah, video's good. You just have to be able to bail. Okay. You all on there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Accelerate slowly. You make it all the way back to the car like this. Right? Look at some speed. <laughs> I can so, go faster. Let's see what it'll do. <laughs> I just don't want to kill everybody. You're getting the fishtail going on there. <laughs> I'm a daredevil. What can I say? Wheelchair <laughs> tours of Portland. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Is that fast enough? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, the river. Best dog leash ever. Poor dog. Words to live by. Well, we got done running around downtown and came over to the Bunk Bar. Got some uh, Easter food, and most importantly, I got some deviled eggs. You gotta do that on Easter. But, now I'm trying to get over to Goodwill. Unfortunately, there's a very slow-moving train that I'm gonna have to wait for. Only one thing to do, crank some music. Since I was downtown, I had to get my Goodwill fix. The main store was very close by. I was actually somewhat surprised that Goodwill was open on Easter Sunday. And I just got stuck. Dang it. This chair just barely fits in this van. All right, there we go. But yeah, they were totally open. I don't know if it's all the stores or just their main one down there. Heading over to the east side now. I don't know if Wingstop's open, but I'm meeting a friend at Starbucks. So maybe they are? We'll see. A couple of three things today. First off, lighting. This camping lantern will have to work. There we go. One of the projects I was planning on working on today was I've got this wide angle conversion lens and it's a 0.75 and I've got my old um, camera that I was using. Image quality is a little bit funky. I, something happened with the CCD cell. But what I want to do is attach this wide angle conversion lens. Problem is there's no threads. There are no threads on the front of this camera and this adapter is threaded. But if you notice the diameter of the front of the camera and the diameter of this lens are pretty, pretty similar. So what I'm gonna do is go down to Home Depot and find something that's about this size that I can slip over the camera and over the lens. Then we're going to epoxy them together. 
And then the second thing I'm doing, which I've actually already done, is swap out the motors from this power chair base onto this power chair that I'm sitting in. This one here. Yeah, I'm about 95% sure this one came out of a dumpster. It has the high speed 1000 watt quantum motors on it. Just to put that into perspective, the new power chair that I've got that's off-road capable has dual 850 watt motors. Granted, they are inline motors, so they're a little bit more efficient and whatnot, but 1000 watt motors, so much torque, you can't even imagine. Got them swapped over, got them put onto this chair, and the project is, I'm building up this power chair that I'm sitting in to use specifically for flying. And I'm gonna make up some giant handles so the ground crew can pick the thing up easily and stick it in the bottom of the plane. I'm gonna make sure the back of it's low enough. And basically this is gonna be the power chair I will use when I fly. Slight change of plans. I wound up going to the storage unit because I had too many wheelchairs in here and I had to take the other one back out there. But I think I'm headed out to Fry's now. A friend's gonna meet me there. We're going to um, see what we don't need to buy. Although I'm gonna head there a little bit early because it's right next to the Korean War Memorial. And the Pokemon Go event is still live. So, you know, gotta do that whole thing. Got back from Fry's, stopped by the hardware store. I went to an actual Ace Hardware instead of Home Depot. Some of these uh, conduit and PVC pipe adapters. Trimming one of them down a little bit. The threads were close enough on the uh, on the lens that I just kind of smashed it on there and they kind of interfered enough so that it actually... Hot glue. That it actually held on pretty good. But here's what we have. It's supposed to put cameras in the freezer, right? So we have the wide end conversion, a little piece of conduit and a whole bunch of hot glue all the way around this camera. A crappy thrift store Sony camera with a wide angle conversion on the front of it. I did use hot glue instead of epoxy so I can remove it. I've not tested out the zoom functionality yet, but it's nice and wide angle. Let's see here if we can zoom. Yeah, actually looks like uh, Looks like I can handle having the lens on there just fine. It zooms without a problem. My concern was with having this thing attached that the focusing wouldn't work the way it's supposed to. Because with this particular camera, I've got an actual lens that fits on it. And that's this 0.7 wide end conversion. And it's a huge glass lens, but this camera has settings you have to turn on for the autofocus and the image stabilization. But the problem I was having is when I stick this on here, while the autofocus and everything would work, it sort of distorts everything on the outer edges, not only adding about 30 pounds. Let me see if I can demonstrate. If I wiggle the camera around, the image stabilization is ridiculously obvious on the edges. And I do like optical image stabilization, but the software-based version, which this thing uses with this lens, I don't like it. It, it was driving me nuts. So I'm gonna stick with the factory setup on this camera. I normally use this little Sony here with the pistol grip on it as just sort of a portable camera I can run around with. I think this will work out well because it's a small portable camera and I still don't really care about, I mean, I'm not gonna destroy it, but if it gets damaged or broken, it didn't cost very much. I can hold the thing out at arm's length and actually have a uh, decent little wide angle camera to run around with. Yeah, so there we go. You can actually zoom in and get uh, fairly decent pictures with this thing and uh, the zoom still works and everything. So all right, I'm gonna finish gluing this, put it back in the uh, curing station there, AKA the freezer. Oh, and the other nice thing about this is it didn't block the microphones on the camera are, are not covered on this. There we go. So microphones are still good. I know though if I drop this, it's gonna come right off. <laughs> but once again, hot glue is better than epoxy in this case because it is removable if I need it to be removed. <laughs> 